Okay, party dealing with EDA and marching against racism in Cape Town. And they're like, hey, we see you. Yay. We, oh, well, don't worry. I've got a whole lot of seven minute video that you guys are going to be watching from here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you that video. But before I can do so, I'm very much interested in you, uh, you know, sticking around until such a time. But there are quite a number of things that I'm, I, I like about the, the things that M, M, look, MK has done here in that they assemble um, a variety of people, black and white. And it's always good to see white people coming together and uh, look, correcting other fellow white people in terms of their racial, um, racial activities and racial uh, what what. Right? It's always a great idea to, 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 to see. It's something very interesting to see. And I like that as well for look up look from the mk part i don't know what you'll take about it but yeah it's always a good thing it's always a good thing to see this political party standing up and they're not dealing with these people because sometimes these people can think that they are in charge when they are not in charge and they another thing that i like about what i saw or whatever what you're about to watch is the uh, is the fact that um guys we must conquer that for uh for a while i mean honestly speaking um Cape Town has always been under one, you know what I'm saying? It's always been conquered by one people. D-A, D-A, D-A. You know, they can lose anything else but not Cape Town. You know, they always make sure when it comes to Cape Town. And uh, MK Party, uh, look, they are strategically attacking that that thing as well, which is very interesting to see. I mean, it would be nice to see. Uh, I, I don't know, what, would you, what do you feel about this thing of... One day, Jay, you get rid of ETA and they are gone forever. But yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking about the racial, uh, racial, racial thing, thing that is happening in Cape Town, I did remember that I once said to you guys that uh, I've got a friend who was who, who was working here in Gauteng. So at some point he was working here in Gauteng and then he got a an offer in look, offer to go and work in Cape Town. He gets there, he can't find an accommodation. He needed to hide, uh, look under the disguise. Look, uh, he needed to use a white person for her for him to get an accommodation, and that white lady helped in terms of that. And she quickly secured a place. But when it was him, he was told, "No, you're gonna you're not gonna get a place." Do you remember? I constantly spoke about that, and that is what look. Now we are seeing MK Party dealing with that, which is very nice as well, and also to involve uh, fellow white people. It's, it's very nice. Like I told you the other time that. Just because a person is white doesn't necessarily make them an automatic look. It doesn't automatically mean that they are racist. There are white people who uh, who really, really guys they 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 look they treat they make mistakes like everybody else. They treat every, uh, people equally, like just like black people we make mistakes too, right? So we can't expect white people to be perfect, right? We can't. That's not that's not uh, look doable. Human beings are human beings, but it's always. A good, a good thing to see white and black people fighting for a uh, local fighting against a racial or uh, uh, racism in general so yeah i'm gonna talk until uh, this time but then i'm gonna allow you guys to watch the video mk party do you remember that i said to you guys there's there's a lot that is happening in cape town do you remember that i said to you guys that um i, I, I spoke about a guy or this these people who were working here in Gauteng. So they were supposed to go to they were supposed to go to um, Makai. I'm sorry, uh, Cape Town. Uh, so they look they couldn't find a place. Okay, do you remember me saying that? Why? Because they are black. Yeah, they struggle to find a place in Cape Town because of the color of their skin. So this march that you are seeing here, it's not a march that I think it is. Um, it's not a march that I think it is. It is in vain. It carries a very serious significance here. So I would want you guys to watch the video. Yeah, MK party or MK party members mixed black and white coming together to march against uh, racial uh, segregation and racism in Cape Town. So before I can do so, guys, I would want you guys to uh, I would want you guys to you know firstly, guys, do the honorable thing, and the honorable thing is that you, if you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people, because to subscribe it is free, to like the video it is free, to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge, to click the notification bell it is free of charge, to share this video it is free of charge, to watch this video until the end it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads 
It's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financially contributing to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed standing up against racial discrimination is one position that the mk party today in the western cape in particular has taken and that against aco and casada protecting the rights of black businesses and their rights to thrive in South Africa and in this economy. Issue is around the uh, a, a company that's owned by the Qataris Investment Authority and the French company Accor, who's formed a company called Casada, and they uh, are a hospitality company uh, buying up hospitality assets, hotels, etc., on on on, in, on the whole continent. Right? They've set up in twenty. I think twi uh, 2020 uh, up in Joburg. I was still the ambassador in Qatar at the time uh, and, and I kind of assisted in them accessing South Africa to, to set up um, and they then went to acquire some assets. Um, uh, the Cape Grace on the, on the waterfront is one of it. Uh, the, the hotel that Pullman's now previously Radisson Blue and one other asset that they acquired. Um, and you know, so, so when they entered South Africa, they uh, were introduced to a black consortium that assisted them to go and hunt for the assets because they, it took them quite a while to, to actually acquire their first asset. Um, and they were struggling to find the right assets. And with the assistance of the black consortium, they managed to get to, to, to the Radisson Blue at least. Um, I then kind of disappeared off the scene when I thought they sorted out. Only to recently find out that uh, they have uh, circumvented the, uh, the Black Consortium in this matter. Um, and the Black Consortium were, there, were ready to contribute their portion of, of whatever arrangement they had. have been observing the DA government doing this, removing the BE projects which has been set up in particular in her name by President Jacob Zuma. Uh, the DA ever since started now, if you look more especially in the poor Cup, to bring in people, foreigners in our country, overtake the businesses, but he doesn't want the black people in particular to be empowered. Now, we are saying that should come to an end. And it should come in an end by giving support to those individuals who are finding themselves vulnerable from the DA government. Because we know in the background of it, it is the DA and the capitalists. It is their agenda. The poor must stay poor. That is exactly why we are coming here as MK. We need to get rid of white monopoly capitals because that is what marginalizes our people. I am um, the, uh, the chairperson of the Backyard Dwellers and we've been fighting for housing, you know, the Backyard Dwellers. They have been on the waiting list for 30 years and we joined the MK party because we need to, for the section 25 that um, President Zuma wants to change and the um, constitution, the Dutch, the Dutch law. That is what took this us. The event for today is a historic event for for all for the, for the MK party and for all for the swart uh, mensen van Zuid-Afrika wie dier wit monopoly kapitaal onderdruk word. Uh, daar vind baie onrechtvaardig hier plaas en jullie, as ons met jullie event succesvol wezen gaan dit die baken stel vir verdere acties soos die om wit monopoly kapitaal te stop om nie so die situasie rondom die it's local black uh, entrepreneur companies that have been sidelined, bullied by the foreign capital. So we are here to say that 
um, MK exist specifically to fight any form of discrimination. Um, this is our site of struggle. So uh, our character actually is defined um, by by um, is defined by um, uh, you know uh, the, the need to transform the society. I think as youth we have to be in charge of it. Uh, we can't just touch down and not make things happen. We've got to be show that we are on the floor and uh, like the youth of 1960, the youth of 1976. I mean, every generation has its own uh, mission. It's either they fulfill it or they betray it. I think we have to deal with the structural inequalities of our country. And uh, we know that the character of that uh, nature is actually white dominant. And uh, we have to deal with those issues. Good day. I am uh, MK Mitchell's plane, Morris. And the message is economic revolution. We are still colonized. 1994 didn't bring us economic liberation. I'm here today because of apartheid that's still alive and thriving in the Western Cape. And we need to end that. And today we will take a stance on that. I support Mkuntu Sizwe in terms of the empowerment of our people and the unfairness that's happening in the city of Cape Town and in the Western Cape itself. I think there's a need to look at the whole question of economic empowerment um, and our local economic um, empowerment happens in our communities as well. One of the fundamental pillars of NK is radical economic transformation. And we're not going to allow foreign companies especially. In fact, we're not going to allow anybody to come and, 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 and bulldoze their way into South Africa. The Constitution of the Republic of South Africa in particular protects the rights of all citizens against discrimination in terms of gender, business and the practices of businesses. And therefore the march today by MK in particular speaks directly to that. We one sees the party now reaching out in the Western Cape to protect the rights of those that are marginalized. Thank <laughs> you.